I lost my potato peeler. I might lose my finger demonstrating this for you, but... Got your man Mayhem Loren in the building, fridge dive, and we're gonna do an episode right now. Two quick sandwiches, two amazing things that you could do with a bagel that you probably haven't done before. Don't start thinking crazy. Voila. We got everythings. I like all kind of everythings. I like whole wheat everythings. I like pumpernickel everythings. I like egg everythings. I think these are just everything everythings. Bon, cut one in half. Put that in the back. So right now we got five bagels cut in half. Let's preheat the oven. See what we have to work with. Oh, shit. Chicken cutlet, pepper jack. That's actually pepper cheddar, correction. And here we have some jerk chicken from the other night. You know anything about jerk chicken? It tastes better the next day. Right now we're gonna heat these chicken cutlets up directly on the rack. We're gonna heat the jerk chicken up in the pan. Use olive oil just cause I like it. So we're, here, we're just gonna, you know, reheat this, break it apart. You never had a jerk chicken bagel. Jerk chicken bagel is something that's, something that's everything. The other bagel I'm gonna make, I'm, we're just gonna call it a, a Asian chicken sandwich because I haven't decided what part of Asia it came from. It's just Asian derived, you know? It's heating up well, crispening. Damn, that shit smells amazing. I'm telling you, it's better the second time around because all that just soaks in, all that sits in. You know, I've had conversations with people that say they don't like leftovers, they don't like things later, but there's a lot of things that are better the second time around. Soups, stews, things like that, chilies, they're better, you know, when, when you give it a day to soak all that flavor in. See, it's already falling apart. We're just gonna make sure, you know, there's no gristle, no bones, and no bone fragments. I'm telling you, this is a simple recipe, but this is, this is simple yet delightful. Look at you. You're such a kind little cutlet, aren't you? Get it shaking, let that fall apart, let that skin crispin. I brought these out just to showcase them. I already have it pre-chopped. I just wanted you to see what we're working with. All right, so we're going yellow and white cheddar for the jerk chicken bagel. I got something else in mind for the quote unquote Asian chicken sandwich. It's not really Asian, but it's not really not. Get this bone out of here. You know, real jerk chicken spots, they only give you dark meat. They'll look at you crazy if you ask for a jerk breast. They just chop up the leg and the thigh, you know? <laughs> Correction, I said that I was gonna make two different type of bagels. I'm just making a bunch of sandwiches. We're using regular buns, we're using bagels. I'm tired, I'm hungry. Let some of that skin crisping on the bottom. We can put this back where it came from. Send you right back to Brooklyn, doggy. We're gonna prep the secret sauce for the Asian chicken sandwich. This sauce will no longer be a secret because I'm presenting it to the world, but simply right here we have Pakistani mango chutney, Chinese chili oil. It looks like Chinese Indian fusion at its finest. It looks like a block in Woodside. Shout out to Queens, the most diverse place in the world. I'm toasting these Hawaiian buns and I'm pulling the bagels out. You know, some of the recipes I do are extremely complex and some of them are just quick. Some of them, all you have to do is put an excessive amount of cheese in a bagel, melt it, add shredded jerk chicken, and eat it. The theme is more cheese and more chicken than can fit on the bagel is what we're gonna put on the bagel. You see this? There we have half the equation. Jerk chicken everything bagel, it's simple. Really, it's simple. Now I'm shaving some ginger. I lost my potato peeler. I might lose my finger demonstrating this for you, but. So we're just gonna heat this ginger up a little bit. Cut it thin, we don't need much. Drop an oversized cutlet. Put a little roasted ginger on the top. Some fresh greens. One of the quickest, most effective sandwiches that one could create. Doesn't take long, there's not much to it, but it'll make you feel like it's a five-star meal. Here we go. I'm about to rename this sandwich too. It's the Crown Heights special right here. Jerk chicken and bagels. If you know Crown Heights, you get it.
Made me feel like I'm inventing a new dance move. Now we're gonna take a trip to Asia. More like flushing. We're going to flushing right now with this one. Two sandwiches. I put a couple different regions together. This sandwich right here is simply flushing queens. And this sandwich right here is Crown Heights. That's it. Crown Heights special. I can't even chew. It's crazy. I went overboard. <laughs>